what's up everybody how are you all doing today i hope you are doing well i've came here well you came here actually hopefully because of the title do not get braces now if you looked up should i get braces pros and cons of braces they're probably like go ahead and get it you know what i'm saying some might some might not but i'm here because i've been through this experience and i'm about to get my eyes off sooner or later he said and i wanted to tell y'all or show y'all how it well, no tell y'all my experience of having braces so i got mine july of 2019 and that would mark about three years of having my braces fourth year hopefully they're off maybe even earlier before that was well, probably before here um so it did not hurt at all to get them put on they you get the molding right and they they first they um because well before that they're gonna check and see if there's anything that will hinder the success of having these braces for example i had two implanted teeth right here and right here and i had to get surgery twice to get them removed um in the surgery they put me to sleep they use anesthesia right or whatever it is and i got put to sleep it was not scary it did not hurt when i woke back up i was just tired I promise you i went home i went to sleep they yes they say you can't eat for 24 hours but you know what you can't eat or drink but it didn't even it wasn't even that hard in my honest opinion it wasn't that hard so you know you don't really have to worry about it next i got it i went to the orthodontist after the two surgeries and they did the molding thing doesn't hurt do not swallow do not move your tongue don't think about it just lay there and go uh, uh, uh. because if you swallow it you're done you're done you're dead i'm I, oh i don't mean to say it like that but you'll be sick and so you know just be careful of that this is like a weird grindy feeling right because they put the glue on there and they look there and sit there they use this heat thermal thing to put it on there do not for the love do not think that you are going to be able to pick the color of your o-rings right and that'll be what the braces are a lot of people get teal a lot of people get like, maybe purple but i tell you i never had a choice maybe it's with your insurance but with my insurance i didn't have a choice i get gray the all the time I, you know so don't think that you'll have a choice no matter it depends on your insurance or depends if you're paying out of pocket or not so yeah i got it put on in the first month it was pretty okay it didn't hurt you know and when you go for a checkup you go to the month uh every month or so right every four weeks five weeks it doesn't hurt to, it depends on who your orthodontist is because i've seen people say it hurts i've seen people say that don't right and so the orthodontist i go to they have a team of dental assistants and sometimes when they take it off they don't hurt sometimes they kind of snag and clip your gum and make you bleed but I promise you all in all it's not this terrifying horrible just uh, pain causing headaches and stuff it's not it's not harmful now you might think when I mean, they'll show you a little video of what you can and cannot do when the things are you can't eat anything hard anything chewy right you have to eat soft foods for like the first few like the first week you had it so you know you might think huh i don't eat really anything chewy or or hard or crunchy so i'll be fine you won't be fine <laughs> you won't be fine i have broke this is like um it's not like oh it's like a band on the back of your tooth i've broken so many times i've broken the brackets up here all because i was eating stuff 
I wasn't supposed to. So like popcorn, the kernels were getting there, right? Skittles, that chewiness, it'll snatch that bracket right off of you. Doritos, pointy chips. I'm not talking Lay's. I'm not talking for those Doritos, them triangulars. Yeah, yeah, they wedge up in there and it's broken. I promise you, the purple Doritos have caused me the brokenness right here. The band it comes like unhinged. Um, there's actually these cinnamon chips. And they were so good. And I kept eating. And it was like, something told me stop. I ain't stop. <coughs> Broke a bracket up here. It was just bad. And you cannot break too many of your brackets. Otherwise, they will take your brackets off. They well, they'll take your base, braces off because I know they were like, if you break your stuff one more time, I'm going to have to take it off. I don't know if it's an insurance matter. I don't know if it's a money matter, but they did say that threat to me, so I'm going to let you know right now. Now, that's what I say. You might think that you don't miss this food, but I promise you, when you go to the movie theaters, oh, your friends or your parents or your siblings are like, let me get some popcorn. You're going to want it. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be eating Doritos. You can't say, let me get some. You can't eat it. And it's really, it's like really vital that you actually, you know, follow these rules and regulations because it really can't extend your time. It can't make it harder for you. It can't just break it all and lost progress, waste the money, right? So there's that. There's not really any pain now. Besides food and not eating, hmm, I really don't, brushing your teeth and flossing, hello, is flossing, it's not really, it's going to be difficult, I would say get a brush, it's from Dollar Tree, it looks like little Christmas trees, little white stencil things if you really want to be detailed and go in between those and get that um that food and bacteria and muck away from the back of your stuff or will, will plaque your teeth and if you are and i promise you I, I if you didn't go ahead and watch the video you're trying to back out now or you're trying to see if you want to back out now or if you're doing this for future reference that plaque will stay on your teeth you ever seen somebody's teeth like extra yellow you see like little lines like it looks like layers of stuff that's plaque it's very hard to remove very expensive to remove and it's basically once it's on there it's on there and it's so easy to get it with braces if you don't get in between them wires and those brackets and those o-rings i promise you you're gonna get your stuff out you're gonna be looking like my head man that's how your teeth is gonna, that's how yellow your teeth are gonna be so you know be sure to clean between those brackets and stuff and brush your teeth types today um i don't know if they'll give it to everybody but when i first got my um braces they gave me a mirror that they used to see in the back um one of those stencil brushes a pick to pick off the plaque hello be careful because if you do pick off the glue the bracket will fall and they'll, they'll know and they won't blame it on you you won't get the threat of we're gonna have to take your braces off because it is the glue fault now you have to be careful with that pick it does hurt and it will nick your gums and cause eat it'll be ah you know what i'm saying it won't really hurt but you three much you think like why is it why is it red you know that's how it'll be so i'm just giving you a heads up seven up but in that package as well i got this marker thing and you brush your teeth whatever boom you open it swish it around and spit out all that pink stuff if it's still on your teeth you need to brush your teeth again because that's all the bacteria it's like a marker for all the bacteria that you have on your teeth so you know go ahead i would say use that unless you have your own private bathroom or you on your own schedule you don't have to rush to school or you know or you don't have to rush for anybody else to come back 
And also, if you're rushing to a place, if you're late, you're going to hate those chemical things because it takes so long to brush them off. And when you brush it off like that, there'll still be some left. Or you pop another tablet, you, you discover some stuff that you thought got, you got rid of. You So, on the topic of scheduling, I keep seeing cars pass by and it's like in the review mirror. So, this is where I'm looking. On the topic of scheduling... Make sure you look at a calendar when you schedule your next appointment. If you have sports, if you have clubs, if you have parties, if you have any events to attend to after or before or during the, um, I guess, 12 to 4 o'clock period, because that's when my orthodontist office closes, and I know a lot of people places close like four o'clock well that's where they end when like the appointment times that's when they cut off scheduling appointments make sure you see where you schedule it because double scheduling i'm telling you it's a big problem especially with me i'm on the bowling team and oftentimes i would like or even before i got on the bowling team if like Let's say the person who's driving me has to go to, like, they want to go to the Walmart. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, oh, I have to go to the or um, orthodontist. It's kind of like a double scheduling thing, and it causes problems. And if you don't come to, if you become late, it's gotten like school, guys. It's like school. If you come late or you don't come at all a certain amount of time, they will stop attending to you they will not let you in they will say you're not with this anymore or they'll say hey come get your braces taken off you're not coming to the appointments like you're supposed to we're not gonna be giving you assistance anymore and then that's a um a, an increased bill on your insurance you want your mom paying what more than like if the insurance is like 200 a month it'll shoot up to 300 so you don't want your mom paying or your dad or your guardian paying extra money or insurance or you know if you're paying your own insurance because I know adults can get it too you don't want to be paying more than in pocket wasting money wasting insurance you know not coming up so make sure you do not double schedule keep a calendar on you make sure you know your times make sure you know when everything ends when everything begins ahead of time I'm talking three to two days before your orthodontist appointment because they will make you schedule on the fly. As soon as you, I'm telling you, as soon as I walk outside of that door from the office, then I give them this little ticket. I'm going to see if I have it. I give them this ticket and they're like, okay, when do you want it? You know what I'm saying? And they tell you what time they'll do it sometimes they don't have any spaces and you have to take what you get and sometimes they'll let you choose um i'm trying to see if i have it i'm sorry guys i do not i really thought i had it i must have put it down somewhere oh no or it might if i think it's in my folder hold on guys yep it's in my folder let me block out the solution yeah okay this right here and i'll i'll put a picture in too of the ticket if you can't see right here it says five weeks you go up there immediately after they're done seeing you you go up there you hand them this ticket that the head orthodontist gives you and they're like okay here's the deal here's the day yada yada this what time do you want and you can say um can i change my day you have to say politely don't be like i can't do that day you know you don't be rude you can ask politely hey can i change my day or hey i need to change the time you don't have to say hey be like can i change my day I said okay if i get like a later time you know what i'm saying and they'll do it because and if you mess up that's okay because at first he was going to give me tuesday of this january week i couldn't do that because tuesdays i have practice for my sports team bowling so i said oh i'm sorry can i move that to thursday and he was like do you want the same time i said yes so 
that's how you handle that make sure you do not have an attitude or not rude or anything like that now if you think these braces are going to be like a wash and go, I'm about to tell you no. Okay, they're going to be the regular usual time for having braces. It's four years. Four. And they go up. I think the longest one my cousin has had some for like eight years. Eight years. Do you want to have these braces for eight years? Not eating popcorn, candy, Doritos, Skittles, none of that. No caramel, no sticky stuff, none at all. For eight years or usual time, four years, this is not a one month thing. This is going to be semi-permanent. You have to be very dedicated to this. Now, I've had mine for about three years now. And it's gotten at the end of this process where i have bands so there are actually shockingly different types of bands i did not know because obviously don't also when you get bands if you decide to get braces which i encourage you not to if you get braces and you go all the way to the point of bands you don't have to go out and buy any it's all in covered in the fees that your insurance or that you are already paying out of pocket you go up there and when you're out of band say hey can i get some more bands i've ran out nice respectful they give you another bag and sometimes i didn't know this they have different band sizes so sometimes they'll move you to a different size now these they're kind of rust away <laughs> um i put a picture of them they're the tortoise or turtle bands those are the first bands i've had i had them for about two weeks or so i don't have my bed in now i was just eating some butter cookies so i'm about to show you i'll show you i have a video of me putting in bands but it's not the main focus so i make this the main focus for sure. this it's a turtle band. Hold on. I don't use it anymore. Uh oh. I didn't mean to shift the thing. Yeah. Can you see that? I don't know if it's focusing well enough or not. <laughs> I'm trying my hardest, guys. I'm so sorry. There you go. That's not the best you're going to be able to get. well it's this small i'm sorry guys it's this small okay very small i'm trying to black out myself from the camera so I can focus and then you have uh, i ran out this was like a few days ago when i went to orthodontist actually it was tuesday no it's monday it's monday that i went to the orthodontist i'm filming this on wednesday i went i said hey can i get some more bands i've ran out he upgraded me to the sea lion fans and let me tell you you'll be shocked and surprised okay so when i first oh oh i dropped mine oh no look okay oh i'm dropping these bands they are so easy to lose you guys i'll tell you some more after i show a nice clean comparison okay these are the sea lions bands can you see that let me get out of focus let me get out oh come on I dropped. these are sea lion bands i guess they're like bigger right oh no these are sea lion bands i'm gonna cut that right out and you might be thinking um they're still bands they're not different at all you're just overdoing it no 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 look at this turtle sea lion do you see the difference in that i'm gonna hold it up to each other you see that this is the turtle this is the sea lion here's it inside of each other you see that let me move my um other finger away do you see that clear difference the sea lions are way bigger than the turtles yeah so just telling you now that there are different 
band sizes. So make sure you check with your orthodontist and say, hey, do I have the right band size? And I might have that wrong, but I'm telling you as a customer and not as an optometrist, uh, orthodontist, I said optometrist. So, I now I will show you how to put your band in. Now, your orthodontist will tell you a certain point or part of your braces that you're supposed to hook it on and they'll put a different kind of bracket on right now i have a hook right here this how i loop it and there's one up here so this is how i do it the first time you get bands they're kind of like strainous like they you can feel it pulling on your tooth and it does feel weird and it did give me you know a little bit of pain and it's you know but it's not that hard when you get used to it. So, you ready? I take the end right here. Ah, it's hooked. You saw what I did? Ah, huh? So, it's hooked down. Then, <laughs> I take my finger, I open it. So I get my other finger in here. I let it rest on it. So that way I could pull it up over it's a hook on this top collar it's hooked on there there you go now they when you get your first a bag of bands you i do with my fingers now but they will grace you with this tool this tool right here I don't use it because I couldn't get a handle on it and how to hook it on my thing. So basically, you take your old ring right here and then you hook it. I'm sorry, like so. Then I'm guessing you hook using this. You see this end of the o ring right here? You put that on your first hook bring it on up and nicely drop it on that second hook i'm guessing that's how you use it then again i do not use my stick i use my fingers it's way easier for my fingers or my hands to do it so yeah with the bands you have to be an oh so loyal customer okay you have to make sure you remember i would set a reminder on my phone because i set a reminder on my phone to bring my bands but i really need to set a reminder to put on my bands because you take it off when you eat and let's say you put it on the fork you put it on a napkin you throw it you then you know you're eating whatever it might be talking friends at lunch right you put on your forehead then you throw away your stuff and you're like oh i just threw away my band happens to me happens to me all the time it happened to me today you know and so i would say because you have to change your band at least twice a day you put one on okay so let's say you're going in the morning you brush your teeth <laughs> have one in right in the bathroom with you if you have to take it out your purse and bring it in the bathroom you have to take it out of the drawer Boom, put that in there, put your band on right as soon as you get done brushing your teeth, right? And then you go. Sometimes you eat breakfast, sometimes you don't. If you don't eat breakfast, okay, cool. If you eat breakfast, make sure you can either, I put mine around my finger like this. It doesn't cause my fingers to lose circulation, guys. It's not that tight. And especially not be tight because it's already been stressed out of your mouth. Put it over your finger. Watch where you're touching, put it over your non denim hand or whatever, or replace it. Boom. And if you don't eat breakfast, I sometimes I eat breakfast, sometimes I don't. When I don't eat breakfast, I just go all the way to lunch. And when I eat lunch, if I throw my stuff away, that is my second rotation. That's my second change, and I just make sure I keep up with it for dinner or, and, you know, and take it off put it back on and the sleep and the cycle repeats you wake up in the morning take it off put it moving on, and then, you know and if you eat breakfast that's okay i'm sorry this is another case and if you eat breakfast you eat lunch you eat dinner that's okay because you'll have plenty
plenty of enough plenty of enough to last to the next month and if you run out in that two the second month you can always ask and say hey i need some more bands please por favor give me some more just ask nice that's all you have to do and um that's the kind of stage i am right now i'm just having my bands on i'm sorry i cannot tell you how it feels to get your braces took off i do know that some say it's like a chilling sensation and it feels weird to have it off um you know what i'm saying it kind of hurts to have them scrape it off if your teeth are sensitive that's what i'm that's what i heard from other people i would definitely update you when i do have my braces off you know um and if you have any questions please feel free put them down in the comments i will reply if not an hour maybe two hours later you do know i am a student i am a student i do be in school however i would try my best if i see the notification i was wondering you and i was wondering you the best possible way i can i'm gonna see do i know any other pointers that i might have skipped over i'm trying to think i really don't think so i think i covered all the bases In my honest opinion, um, also, one last on the ending note, and it'll end at 30 minutes, I'll edit it, it might be a little slow, long, longer, not longer, it might be a little shorter, that's the word, I'm gonna edit it, and hopefully though, I feel like I've done it, you know, I've included all the important parts, if your teeth require bases. It'll be okay. It is not a terrifying experience. It's a very easy one. Yes, there will be some pain. Yes, it will be both emotional and physical. The emotional of not being able to eat the food that you want and the physical pain of getting, you know, sometimes taking them, putting them on, putting them off, you know. I'm saying this, my, my teeth were considered straight when I got my it was really the implants that they wanted to focus on in my bottom teeth because I have an overwrite. Now, if your teeth are doing the um, are playing twister in your mouth, I'm sorry, I don't know how it would feel. It might bring pain with separating it. I will say that because it's constantly pulling your teeth. The wire is going to constantly pull it, especially with the braces are constantly pulling your jaw, pulling your teeth, and differencing differentiating it you know straightening it out so that might actually cause you pain but if you look in the mirror you're not your teeth aren't playing patty cake with each other you're relatively straight i would personally say skip out on braces they are not a requirement it does not increase your popularity it's like a five minute thing i promise i know a lot of popular girls have it don't worry about it you can be unpopular and have braces still you know what i'm saying it's a five minute thing they'll be like when you get braces and they'll be it so i would not recommend it if your teeth are not totally horribly horrendously crooked and if you if your teeth are crooked then that's okay because braces aren't that bad and that's my ending no i hope you guys have a great day ending this <laughs> right now at 2940 goodbye